show. As you know, we have the spoons a little bit later on, but right now a gentleman who's toured Europe extensively. He's from my second home, British Columbia. He lives in Kamloops. He's an extraordinary musician and an extraordinary storyteller. Please welcome to the stage Marshall Potts and the Marshall Potts Band. <laughs> So right now we're in Burlington. We're going to do a show um, with Michelle Titian and um, The Spoons. And it's all about mental health awareness. It's about healing. It's about being honest with each other, understanding that most of us have anxiety. Most of us have a voice in our head that says you can't do something. Most of us don't, don't like who we are often. We're here to do a show. Um, you know, I was really nervous last night. Like last night, I couldn't. I was having a hard time sleeping, which is unusual for me because I don't usually. I usually kind of stay in the moment a little bit more. I try to stay in the moment and not think about the future. My, my path as a young person was always musical. And then, the, the, and then as I, you know, I, I grew up and I, and I got into a band at 18 and was writing songs since I was 12. And that worked for me. I was still, life is hard and it can be challenging. Uh, I'm Marshall Potts. I'm a singer-songwriter from Kamloops, BC. Uh, I live on 160 acres, um, what I say is the middle of nowhere. It's pretty far out there, right? Um, it's a, it, we, we call it a ranch when it's not operating as a ranch. We're, we're kind of self-sufficient, so we have our own, our own food and that sort of thing. We grow our own food. And, and we haven't since the, the fires other than chickens and stuff, but that's, that's the goal. And our freezers are full of meat that we made ourselves, that sort of thing. Uh, I moved up there in 2016 um, after I got divorced and, and nothing was there and just sort of started a new life from scratch, took a big leap of faith, basically. It was really hard to get away from the fear. There was a lot of tears. And when I calculate it, to this moment right now, after I moved up there in the middle of nowhere and spent that first you know, New Year's and Christmas alone and, you know, all the, the sadness that was around that experience. Uh, it took me about seven years to get here. It was um, just 160 acres, about 60 acres in pasture and the rest was in, in forest. That was it. The creek running through it. It's a pretty place. It was really beautiful. First time I saw it, there was um, butterflies and dragonflies and, you know, it was just tall grass. It was just beautiful, it was a beautiful place. It really was, it was reset everything from income to everything, not knowing what's gonna happen next. The Sparks Lake Fire, we were, in, we were in ground zero for that one. We were the ones that called it in. And then they set up their, their shop, you know what I mean? They, they brought the helicopters landed in our field and they were setting up shop there to fight it. Um, 
yeah, we, we thought it would be put out, but within two days we, we were told that we better leave. And uh, that fire kept raging for, we weren't back for eight weeks, two months. Okay guys, here's the update. Uh, we got candling just over the hill. So uh, things have really sparked back up. It's actually moving quite quickly now. Guys, uh, looks like we gotta go. So it's now hit that ridge and uh, she's candling and she's probably gonna come into our place now. How's the farm after everything that happened? Um, it's bouncing back. Yeah, this yeah. has been a big summer of recovery. Um, so it looks very different. We had to log over 80 acres of trees off our land. There's a, yeah, a lot of people displaced. We were supposed to, to uh, release the, you know, some of this music beforehand, but I tell you what, I'm not sure I would have called it the storm. So I'm glad, right, that we, because we, we were knocked off our kilter, you know, for two more months, once again, right? But again, it's, to me, it's like a test, okay? You gotta go through these trials and tribulations See if you, you know, the universe says, okay, can you hang in there? How badly do you want something, right? Now, you know, when, you know, dealing with the, the things I've had to deal with with the fire and then, and then going on stage right now, fear is more excitement. I mean, that's what I hope to transmute from myself, right? Because that's kind of part of the process too, is to be able to transmute fear energy into love energy. I take something negative and make it a positive. See, everything's a reflection of one another. Like tonight, that's what I hope to do. Is, and I've done, hopefully I've done it in the past. I hope I have to do it again. I will take my nerves and my, and I, you know, it's a big show for us. It's a big deal. So there's a lot riding on it for us to some degree. But at the same time, I just want it to be joyous. So I want to play music, I feel joy. So it'll go hopefully from fear to joy. It's about uh, bringing people together to create something positive from a negative. It's my job to try to help them find the tools that I used or others can use, and it's different for everyone, I guess, but that might help them fix their problems. So I say, heal yourself, heal the world. And it's like a ripple effect. It's like if you start here, you're the pebble in the pond, and it starts to spin out. And then everyone around you starts to feel better. If you're not happy, how are you making anybody else happy? Right now, I'm feeling nervous. And I'm also feeling pretty, pretty happy because again, I'm honoring my soul. So let's see what we do. <laughs> you know what I mean? See how it turns out. He lives in Kamloops. He's an extraordinary musician and an extraordinary storyteller. Please welcome to the stage, Marshall Cox and the Marshall Cox Band. You know, Ted, Ted, you never said it was going to be a really emotional night. Yeah. And I'm telling you what, I, Michelle, so awesome. You know, before he came on, I was like, are you nervous? And Michelle said to me, she said, no. And I said, well, why aren't you nervous? And she said, because it's not about me. It's about the message. And that's what this night is all about. It's about the message. It's about mental health. And it's about people understanding that, you know, we're not, we all feel a little crazy inside. And, uh, and in this case, you know, <laughs> it's okay. We have that voice and we have our hearts. And tonight's all about the heart. Is it called? Thank you. This is, uh, we're going to play songs from the Storm album. This is a song called The Fall. Spending time alone 
Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, this next song is called Never Gets Old. And it's really, it's a really, uh, it's a song, another love song. It's a, it's a love song. All, all songs are made from love. It's creativity. But this song, I remember my mom said, she's passed now. God bless you, mom. And she said to me one day, she said, you know, Marsha, I don't know, she was probably 78 or seven, no, 73, probably 73. She said, you know, I'm still 16 years old inside. Can you feel the shade? Yeah. 
like the way we are sinking our little place with our little stars. This next song is called uh, Hearts in the Sky. I don't 
I must do. 